Hello and welcome back everyone. So today in this lecture we will be looking into the JV Black's classification of dental caries. So there are many many different classification of dental caries that exist in the modern day times but the most widely used and the most widely accepted by many different organizations of the world and teaching institutes is the JV Black's classification of dental caries which was of course proposed by JV Black himself. J.V. Black is also considered as the father of operative dentistry. So based on the location of caries, he classified the carious lesions into six classes or six groups. So let's look into this classification of dental caries, starting with the class one. So class one basically includes the caries that occur in the pits and fissures. So these most often occur on the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth. But this will also include the pits and fissures that extend down to the lingual or the buccal surface of the posterior teeth. Also included in this class are the caries that less often but do occur on the pits of the lingual surface of the anterior teeth. So class 1 basically includes the lesions that occur on the pits and fissures of the posterior teeth and also less often on the lingual surfaces of the anterior teeth. Now onto the class 2. So class 2 basically includes the caries that occur on the proximal surfaces of the posterior teeth. So any caries lesion occurring on either the mesial or the distal surface of any of the posterior teeth is included in the class 2 lesions. But when this lesion occurs on the proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth, it will be included in the class 3 lesions. So class 3 basically includes the carious lesions that occur on the proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth whether it be an incisor or a canine. But this lesion is only on the proximal surfaces and does not involve the incisal edges. But if this carious lesion on the proximal surfaces of the incisor also includes the incisal edges this will be termed as the class 4 lesion. So class 3 basically includes the carious lesions on the proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth but not on the incisal edges. While the class 4 includes the lesions occurring on the proximal surfaces of the anteriors that also has involved the incisal edges. So now the class 5. So the class 5 basically includes the carious lesions occurring on the gingival third or the lesions around the cervical third of the tooth. Now this can be any tooth whether an anterior or a posterior and the lesions may involve the cementum or the enamel or even both enamel and cementum but it should be on the gingival third of the tooth to be named as the class 5 lesion. So now we finally move on to the last class which is the class 6. So the class 6 basically includes the caries occurring on the cusps of posterior teeth which are your molars and your premolars as well as the cusps of canine. It also includes the lesions on the wear defects of the incisal edges of the anterior teeth. So the caries occurring on the cuspal tips and also on the incisal edges is termed as the class 6. So these are all the classes of the Black's classification of dental caries. So just a quick overview. Class 1 includes the carious lesions of the pits and fissures. Class 2 includes the carious lesions on the proximal surfaces of the posterior teeth. Class 3 includes the lesions occurring on the proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth. Class 4 includes the lesions occurring on the proximal surfaces that also involve the incisal edges of the anteriors. Class 5 includes the lesions occurring on the cervical or the gingival third of the facial or the lingual surface of any teeth. And finally the class 6 includes the lesions involving the cusps and the incisal edges. Or in other words, the lesions occurring on the surfaces that come in contact with the opposing tooth are termed as the class 6 lesions. So this ends my lecture on JV Black's classification of dental caries over here. I hope this lecture is clear to you. If you still have any confusions or any questions, you can comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. So please take care of yourselves and I will see you people next time. Goodbye.